Hi guys, welcome to Book of Shayla. Today we are doing 31 Days of Cut Files, day 10. I think it's day 10. Um, I have it around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's day 10. It would help if I could find things on my desk, but you know, things are a little creepy around here lately. Let me see. Do I have it? It is day 10. Yes. However, <sighs> So I was trying to get all creative and make my cut fall all beautiful by using this really cool stuff called Effect Paste by Finnebar. Finnebar. And it is in Mermaid and it was gorgeous. Um, guys, it doesn't work on a little cut file because it's got chunks in it. This is what the cut file is supposed to be. And yeah, so... I don't like it and so I I put that on it and then I tried to fix it by putting the pink over it and I just don't like it I was gonna see if I could like cut it off I yeah I sh so I will not be doing this wonderful cut file by MK gun and I liked this cut file a lot and then I had to go mess it all up I was just gonna see but see how it like sticks out and I should have been smarter than that but I don't use this stuff often enough to uh, know what it was going to look like and yeah so yeah yeah but I did want to show you so after I decided well that's not going to work I'm going to have to do something else but I still really wanted to work with that effect paste because it's just so cool and I have another one that's like pinkish yeah that's better but I still I'm not going to use it so anyway put that aside and so I pulled this um, stencil from Simple Stories and I did, hold on, let me, I just got it all yucky because of, and I did this and oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I have no idea when I'm ever going to use this, but that is gorgeous. Now I want to do one on the other side in the other color that I have, but I just had to show you that this is what it does. It's beautiful, but it wasn't right for that, unfortunately. So let me put all that aside. With that being said, I pulled out a pear tree cut file, pear tree cut file, cut file. I'm going to use these cool palm leaves and I colored them with Distress Mica stain in Wicked Elixir. This should be a pretty quick page because I am letting my paper pretty much do all the work. I had this cool paper from the Bahamas, or that says Bahamas, and it's from uh, Scrapbook Customs. And I'm kind of using this sketch as a guide, but instead of using more paper, I'm gonna let this be this. And I've cut my, these are pictures from, can you guess where? the Bahamas uh, for my son's uh, trip and so I'm gonna I cut them down to three and a half by four and a half I think it is and I'm just gonna put them down like this and then instead of this little circle piece of paper I'm going to use my die cuts these aren't pictures of anything in particular so that's why I'm just like, I'm just gonna kinda do a quick layout with them. They're just some pretty pictures of the beautiful water. So like that, that's what I'm gonna do. So let me go ahead and glue things down. I don't know where my Nuvo, oh, there's my Nuvo one. I really like this Nuvo. I got it, I think I told you, free at a, for, <laughs> ordering so much at my little scrapbook store during um, their sales. They have a, a product that you can get free if you qualify. Guys, I always qualify. Okay, I shouldn't say I always qualify. I usually qualify because I buy a lot of stuff from them. Anyway, uh, in fact, I have a gigantic order coming and when it gets here, oh doggies, and it's mostly mixed media. And I'm like, did I really need all of that? Probably not. Am I going to love it? Yes, I am. <laughs> but anyway, um, it was a qualify. It was a free gift qualifying and I really like it. And it's out. Okay, that's good. Good to know. I'm just going to, it was free. Not a big deal. So I'll go back to this. My other 
refill should be here next week, middle of the week. Ah, I was trying to get this where you could see it and I kind of went crazy instead. All right, so we're just gonna do this like so. Then I'm gonna glue these picture or the cut file. Like I said, this should be a pretty quick page. And then I have these um, stickers that I'm gonna add and that's gonna be it. Super easy peasy page for the day. Why am I always quiet when I'm doing this? Probably because I have to concentrate so much. I've spent the last few days in my classroom trying to get ready for school. <laughs> for us, school starts. We have professional development starting Sunday, actually, which I know, kind of weird, but we're going to, uh, to Oklahoma City for a team building on Sunday and then we'll come back Monday and then so we have professional development at school um, Tuesday and Wednesday and then kids come on Thursday or yeah Thursday hmm. pretty quick pretty quick so I've been working in my classroom last few days in the mornings I don't spend all day but I'm gonna go spend a couple hours anyway you would think that after 20 however many years of teaching that I could just go in and be ready to go but I can't I uh, don't like to do the same thing every year because I get bored Especially since I've been teaching so long. So I change it up every year. Which means a whole lot of work for me to get ready. That's okay. I also feel like since I have these kids for four years, because I teach ninth through twelfth grade. Some of them I've had for five years because I was teaching eighth grade too. That they get bored if it's just the same thing over and over. So I do it for them and for me. Okay, so there we go. We got my cut files down. Now, like I said, I have these stickers. Um, I don't really know where to put them. Let's see. I do kind of like the turtle. That's cute. I thought about putting them like here in between the cut files. Like the little turtle and the little shell. That's like hard. I don't know. And maybe this little shell along with it. And... That, I think, is going to be it. I know that was an easy peasy page, but, you know, sometimes it's okay to let your paper do the work. So, I got to go look up the date. I'm not sure what day. I know it was June of 2019, but I'm not sure what day. So, I need to go look up the date to put it down there, and that's it. Easy layout. I might put it on some cardstock, though, because it's pretty thin paper. But that's going to do it for day 10 of 31 days of cut files. Like I said, this cut file was from Pear Tree Cut Files. They're a, a company out of the UK and they have such cool things. The only bad thing is the shipping is outrageous. But it doesn't stop me from going in there every month and buying a ton of stuff. Because they have great cut files and just really cool things all together. But anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.